I think when people start to work here at Rideau Hall, and what many people don't realize that it is a government department. The Office of the Secretary to the Governor General is a government department. So they arrive here thinking that they'll only be here for a few years and then move on or move up. Or, um, but you somehow become part of an extended family and you feel that you something draws us here. Uh, you are working in a national institution. Uh, we're surrounded by some of the most beautiful objects and art and the, the grounds, the trees. And the Governor General is always chosen for his or her engagement and commitment. So you just want to help that person to be successful. They always are, of course. Um, but it's, it's like having a new job for five, every five years. You just, uh, you just want to meet the new one and help the new one, and then the new one doesn't, is no longer new, so they, they become a member of your extended family and you can't leave before they leave, and then you want to help the new one coming in again, and the, there are children, you kind of adopt them as your own, and uh, it's very difficult to leave. And I think that's why many people end up staying longer than they plan to. Tell me about the aspect of having children in the home. It is a formal residence. How does having children here, I mean, the current um, Governor General and, and Mrs. Johnston have uh, a gazillion grandchildren. Yes. And um, uh, Madame Jean had uh, Marie Eden. Yes. And uh, others have had grandchildren or, yeah. you know, other um, older children. Mm -hmm. um, how does that change the dynamic here? Well, I was here, I first started under Jules Léger, and as you know, Mr. Léger was not well. Uh, it was at the end of his mandate, so I worked only for maybe five or six months with them. The house suddenly changed when Ed Schreier arrived with four children, the youngest being Tobin, who was maybe four years old at the time. The house, the dynamics changed completely. We were all somehow involved in, you know, uh, sponsoring them for their walkathons, and uh, um, the children became part of our family, and we became part of theirs. Uh, I, I recently was speaking with the maitre d' who was here at the time, and, you know, Mrs. Schreier really wanted those children to feel like this was their home, and although a chef may not be prepared to make macaroni and cheese for lunch. This is what some children want. And so everyone changed uh, the way they worked to accommodate this family's needs. It never affected the official part of the home. The, the official uh, events did not change. One would never know that the chef was making mac and cheese for lunch and filet mignon for dinner. But uh, you just do what you need to do to make these people feel like this is their home. And, and it is for five years. Uh, it is their home. And uh, uh, it, our, our work is not just the official side. It's also accommodating the needs and wishes of the people who are living here.